Okay, so I watched a, I it's a bio, it's like a documentary bio type thing on Prime. And I loved it. And I said, Dev, Dev, I watched something and I, and I started telling him and I said, I, I, I just want you to watch it. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty full on and pretty emotional. But it's the story of Eduardo Garcia and the, the documentary is called Charged Eduardo Garcia. So I'm going to sort of tell you what happened to Eduardo. And you can jump in because you've seen the doco now. Yeah, forced. <laughs> I said, just watch 10 minutes Bull- of it. Bullied. <laughs> Tortured. Uh, 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 Ernie, I, I, I now know where the bruises come from. <laughs> so Eduardo is Mexican and he's living in the States. And he's out on a hike because he loved to go hike- hiking. Hold on. Is he, are you sure he's Mexican? Because didn't they build a wall to keep them out? This was years ago. Okay. And, well, not years ago, but a few years ago. Uh, yeah, anyway. So he's hiking in Montana where he lives. And on his hike, he comes across a barrel. And inside the barrel is a dead, a dead animal. Specifically, a dead bear. <laughs> And, yeah. A dead bear in a barrel. That's yeah. not something you see every day. No, <laughs> it's not. It is not. This is the bit that Dev was like most intrigued about. Like, what? Anyway, so the bear was sort of half rotting. No, no, no. Hang on a sec. Emma started the story and she starts the story. And usually when she starts a story, I start to fade because it's like she's just taking it down this long, windy road. And all of a sudden she said... <laughs> There was a dead bear. And then she, she brushed over the most interesting part. She goes, there was a dead bear anyways. And then she can continue. To, and I said, why is there a dead bear? Why is there a dead bear in the barrel? And she goes, I don't know. And I said, okay, continue. So the bear was decomposing and Eduardo goes, hmm, that's interesting. So he took out his knife and he wanted to explore. So he, he took out his knife and he goes to touch the dead bear. When he goes to touch the dead bear... He is electrocuted by 2,400 volts of electricity. Okay, why is the bear electric? (laughs) (laughs) The bear is not electric. So. The bear is not electric. It turns out the bear was in in the barrel, which was an unused electrical junction box, way (laughs) in the backcountry area, way in the backcountry. So it's not in a residential area. It's like, I mean, he was hiking. And uh, Ernie, is this something that you put there? No. You do. <laughs> so I think obviously the bear oh, has also seen the barrel and gone, ooh, a barrel. Let me get in that or touch it or whatever. And he's probably got electrocuted as well. Is that what you think? Yeah, yeah 100%. That's okay. what happened. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's then. 100%. Like, there's no other reason. Yeah. He didn't die of starvation. <laughs> <laughs> so this isn't funny. Anyway, so then he he actually he survived. He wakes up. He he opens his eyes and he's a bit confused. He doesn't really know what's gone on, but he's like, I have to get out of here. He knew he was hurt. So he gets up and he starts staggering, staggering, making his way to the closest place, the closest town, and to a house. Can Go. I, yeah. So em, Emma, Emma, right? I've seen um, electric burns because they love to show you that, so you respect the electricity, yeah. right? So have I, yeah. yeah. So they do it on purpose. When we when you start off, they go, "Oh, check this out," and they go, "You make sure you wear your gloves because if you don't, you get degloved." And they show this person that just has a bone, like he has all his did, fingers. Did, did you see the guy that was holding the neutral, um, the active and the neutral on the power lines? I, yeah, there's not much of him left. And he, and he- and it came up from inside out. Yeah, it was horror. See, so they keep showing you this stuff, so you res- you respect electricity, right? Oh, so I know what an uh, 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 electrocuted body looks like or a burnt body looks like. I don't like to see them. So anyways, I'm I'm looking down on purpose and Emma goes, oh, this is the best part. I look up and I go, that's what I didn't want to see. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. And you've made me see this. I can't unsee that now. Anyways, continue with your story. What was it? It was a burnt Wait, body. So, what? Oh, dude, like you haven't seen a burnt body before. I, did, I don't look. I see one. I don't like seeing one. 
I know, but you've already seen them. What's the worst thing that can happen? You've seen another one. It, well, it, this <laughs> is, no. So he, he so he finds a way to a house. <laughs> they get him to the Salt Lake City Hospital. He stays in hospital for, I think it's months. I think months, it's months. months. So he has a huge hole in his chest cavity wall. Yeah. Massive hole there. He has a massive a hole in his Why are you edge. grabbing your hip when you're saying chest cavity wall? Well, I don't want to. And then he has. A, <laughs> no, that's not my hip. That's uh, my. Uh, uh, and uh, then. Uh, uh, I was going to say, your chest is here. Yeah. <laughs> and then he has a huge hip. hole in, in his head. head. That's an exit wound. Okay. Another one, a massive one in the side of his head. His arm had to be amputated. Because it was burnt. Or his hand had to be amputated. And he had some other holes in his legs and stuff. Um, and yeah. he was in hospital for, for a while, a long while. Mm. So uh, he then... Now, why wasn't there a sign saying electricity? Yes, good question. Mm. Yeah, that is a good question and one that he was thinking as well. After this, they put up a sign and they covered the barrel. A bit late now. When the guys um well not not he's really become, been, like it is like it, quite holy. It's late for that uh, for um Garcia, but he has stopped any more accidents from happening. Mm. So it is late for him, right? And and he's still living his life, but he's still doing good from like from his experience. Well, he doesn't want anyone was, else. Well, it was so sad because this guy was a chef. He was a chef. He was a still, yacht chef for years. Still a chef. And he was like, I'm going to lose my career. Like he just started a new family business and now he's has a, you know, a metal arm. Um, and he had to sort of just rethink all that. But what was one of the saddest parts is during his recovery, they then found out he had cancer. Testicular cancer. Ten testicular cancer on top of all of this, stage two. So then he had to undergo chemo, lost all his hair. And that was crazy, was wasn't he? Because he was yeah, pulling he was out his what hair. He the nuts, but then... Doesn't really sound good. So in, in, in one of the strangest ways, this kind of saved his life? In a weird about way, yeah. In oh, a, if, maybe because yeah. it maybe wouldn't have got picked up. Yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless the, like this incident brought it on through stress. Don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. But, what a but it was quite no, but it was that, stage two, it so it's cancer. already progressed to another tumor in somewhere else. So oh, so that like, suggests it was okay. already. Yeah. Um, but yeah, one stage in the documentary he goes, "Look, my hair's falling out," and when you think about someone's hair falling out, maybe like when they comb it, it might fall out. No, he was picking that with the clumps. I've never seen that before. He was going with his hand and pulling because he was going through chemo. And they, yeah, they just yeah. continued pulling it out until he was bald. It's unreal. But it's, you know what's yeah. crazy about this guy yeah. is he was so positive throughout basically the whole process. Yeah. I, he was bottling a lot of stuff inside, yeah. I think. But outwardly, he was like super duper positive. Mm. Mm. He's probably trying to stay strong for his family. Yeah. I like, I'll be trying to do the same thing. Yeah. But then on the, on the inside, I'll be cursing everything. Would you? You wouldn't I'll be cursing. I'll be cursing, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be cursing the bear. Yeah. I'll be cursing the barrel. I'll be cursing cancer. I'll be cursing the nurses. I'll be cursing the doctor. I'll be cursing everything. Really? But on the outside, I'm like, ah, yeah, I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. No need to worry. But on the inside, I'm like, you bastards. Why me? <laughs> so, yeah. it's nothing, nothing about this guy. Like, this isn't commentary on him or what he did or anything. I'm just curious for you as people. You're in the backcountry and walking and you see a barrel and in it you see a decomposing bear. What's your next move? Alexander, I said, I asked the exact same question, right? And I said, if I saw a bear that was in there and he's dead, is I'm not, I'm not touching the bear. I'm looking, for, I'm looking out for his friends. He answered this question, by the way, because he's been asked it numerous yeah. times. And he says... As an outdoorsman, nothing is off limits outside. It's the ultimate freedom. That's true. I like mm. that as a line. That means nothing to me, though. Mm. That still doesn't explain why you would touch the bear. Because he's but you're not an outdoorsman. He, he, yeah, he's he's yeah, lived outdoors out. most of his we're life not. since he was a kid. So he they they go, they do. I guess they hunt. They they just explore. 
They're curious about everything around. Yeah, them my curiosity them. is limited. My <laughs> my well, curiosity. Because he didn't understand why was the bear there because he didn't know his electricity. So we wanted to get a closer look and we're like, what's going on here type thing. So I'm, I'm a curious really person, but that just wouldn't. I'm more. I of mean, a same rock, here. I wouldn't go and touch guy. the bear. I'm more either. of a rock I just, guy. From I, I a guess. Distance. I guess my my thing is like, <laughs> if it wasn't electric, what would you have discovered by touching the bear? Like, even if you figured out why it died, what would that do for you? Like, for me, curiosity is pinned with that knowledge that you can gain from it and what that can do for you. Not yeah. just being curious for the sake of being curious. No, I guess for some people that is what it is. They're just curious. They're like, hmm, what's this? Yeah. Let me yeah. have a closer look. Mm. But not for me. <laughs> I, I'd be the same. I'd be like, oh my God. Ooh, maggots or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Get yeah, out of here. Yeah, because like I asked Emma, I asked Emma straight away. I go, why did he poke the bear? That's yeah. the first thing that popped in my head. Yeah. I go, why, why would you get that close? Like as soon as you look into the barrel and there's a bear, you go, huh. There's a bear. All right. Let's go to the next thing. <laughs> Let's not... Uh... Well, it, well, how, about, how about the play school song? There's a bear in there and a thing as well. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> CJ. But you know what? <laughs> this is actually worth a watch because it was good. Yeah. He's um he's very... Yeah. Charismatic. He, he's very charismatic. That's the thing, eh? And, and he's very... Like you can see him evolve as a person, going from someone that could um, do anything and be anyone to someone having limitations and still saying to himself, "I can still be anything and be anyone." Mm. It's it, it, was, it was it was yeah. This it reminds me. I've told you about the BMX that I watch, right? Yeah, and his accident and everything. It reminds me of that. Like, and he. At the moment, he's working. He's quadriplegic, but he's working towards his goal. Is he wants to be able to do a backflip on his BMX again? Oh um, man! So like he, this video that came out, I think yesterday or maybe the day before, was him going to the foam pit for the first time. So like going up a ramp, and jumping into the foam pit because that's where he's oh, going to learn shit. to yeah. backflip into. And it's just like watching where he's come from to there because he was similar. He had his. His uh, his skull, he has plastic in the front. Like he's yeah. had to have a forehead replacement. A lot. So like going through somewhat of a similar thing. But his per, his um, positivity, like you can, t he's there's a couple of videos where he talks about his actual internal struggles and like how difficult it is every single day of him. But you don't yeah. see that. Like you just see the positive side of him. Um, yeah, there's so, different yeah. shades, right? Yeah. I own. read something a little bit later, 50, which says he was roughly. attempting to remove a claw. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, give it a watch. It's called Charged. Eduardo Garcia.